I'm Bloody Doves, the developer of Battletech Advanced 36-2, and I'm here today to talk to you about our new artillery mechanic. So, coming in one of our recent patches is a new mechanic for the primary artillery weapons. So, the artillery hardpoint is divided into what I call the tubes, which are the big artillery weapons like the Long Tom, the Sniper, the Thumper, the Arrow 4, the Sirocco, and the Cruise Missile. The artillery cannons, which are the ones that are called cannons, so the Long Tom Cannon, the Thumper Cannon, and the Sniper Cannon, and then the Howitzers, which are doing their own thing. The first two categories are seeing substantial changes. The Howitzers are completely unaffected. We don't have to talk about them, they're not an issue. But the first two categories are seeing substantial changes, and I'm here to walk you through how they work, because the way, they cha the way they've changed is very dramatic. So if you look at the mission that we have in progress, we're attacking a base over here, a lot of enemies. I've got six units. I have an ambassador and a new zeal, which are just here to look at things, just to scout for me. And then I have a Huron warrior with a sniper cannon. I have a Houtman with a long time cannon. And then I have two Halopolises. One with a sniper artillery, one with two thumper artilleries. These four guys are going to be the basis of what we talk about today. So, the biggest change is that the six full artillery pieces, so the sniper, the thumper, the long tom, the arrow four, the Sirocco, and the cruise missile 50, are no longer one turn weapons. So I will demonstrate. I have sensor locked this turret. I will grab my Helopolis with a sniper. I will walk him into woods just so he doesn't die. Now you'll notice he's got a sniper artillery and he's got some other weapons. This is important. I'm not going to turn off any of these. He's got HE ammo, shape charge ammo, and inferno ammo. So the ammos are similar, but they do different things. You'll also notice it says he does 180 damage and 40 heat and 40 stab. That's not true, but it kind of is true. Bear with me. I'm going to have him target this turret. So I'm going to have him click this turret. It says it's firing two LRM-10s and a sniper, but what's going to happen is none of that will occur. Now, I'm going to wait for the enemy to resolve the turn. So you notice that now what's happened is he has a dotted red line drawn between him and the target. The target now has the word sniper over it, and there's this big red circle. And he didn't attack. Nothing happened. What's happening is that the sniper is now in what's called fire artillery stance. So what happened is he has targeted this location. He has not targeted the unit. He's targeted the hex the unit stands on. This is important. He's targeted this hex with a little with a little blue circle around it. And on his following turn, he will have two choices. He will get to hit brace and exit the artillery stance and end his turn, or he'll get to hit fire and he'll complete the attack. We will demonstrate that in a minute. This is how the pieces have changed. The artillery pieces now are two turn weapons. You t you set up your target, and then on their following turn, that you click fire and complete the attack, and they actually shell the target. Uh, now, when I said he targeted the ground, this is very important. The main six artillery pieces no longer get direct damage. They don't have direct hits at all. They have exclusively AOE. What they're doing is they're using the attack ground ability, but in a much more, like, in a slower, much more controlled, targeted way. This radius you see here is the extent of the blast zone. Things closer to the blast, the center will take more damage. Things at the, eh, the further out you go, the less damage they will take. That's just like standard artillery uh, on old patches. That's like how it used to work, but now you can see it much more clearly. I mean, here's the AoE. Uh, on... This Helopolis, when it says 180 damage and 40 stab and 40 heat, that is the damage of the basic HE ammunition. It is not the damage the gun actually does, because the gun actually does no damage. Uh, I mean, it has these stats, but they don't do anything, because it cannot get a direct hit. The other ammunitions do change this. They don't change the damage values, because they don't change the damage values here. I, I'm going to see if I can adjust that. But they do do other things. The ammunitions in the mech bay will tell you everything they do. The weapon has a ton of descriptive text to tell you exactly what it does. Uh, I'll demonstrate that maybe in another video if people want to see it. But that's how the tubes work. Now, you might be thinking, can't the enemies just move? I'm like, yes, they can. But you can use attack ground, which I will demonstrate now, with the, Helop the other Helopolis. So our other Helopolis has two thumpers. Uh, you cannot multi-target with it. That doesn't actually work right now. That's a bug that's being looked at, and hopefully it will be fixed. But at the time I'm recording this, that is not the case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead select attack ground, and I'm going to shell the base. 
This is the radius of the thumpers. Click fire. And you see it does the same effect. It draws the circle. And it draws the attack line to the unit firing. The AI's units do follow this same mechanic. So if they have artillery and they shoot back at me, you'll be able to trace the red line from where they shoot you to where that unit is, which is actually a really cool feature. So you can actually like find enemy artillery fire. That's the main artillery weapons. That's how the main artilleries all work. Uh, there are some other changes to... Now, because of this, because they're only one... You only fire once every two turns, and your unit is effectively locked in place because you can't really move on the turn you fire because you're in the artillery stance. Because of that, the AoE damage on all these weapons has been increased dramatically. The uh, the sniper, for instance, does 180 AOE on its base base ammunition. The Helopolis, the thumpers do 125. I think that's what that's up, right? Yeah, 125. Uh, they do pretty substantial AOE stab and heat damage, and they are because they're all AOE. Their damage was increased because you know they're not getting direct hits anymore, and they're probably gonna be doing a lot of splash, so their damage had to go up. The long tom, for instance, does 300 damage. With a 200 meter radius. It is huge. Um, now what this means is that artillery is much more slow. But it's also surprisingly powerful if you plan around it. And you can control enemy movement. Now the AI does understand that this radius is bad for them. And they will attempt to move out of it. But the AI is not that good at it to be honest. I've been playing with this for several weeks at this point, And the AI is not super smart. So you can get pretty good hits off even on stuff that maybe shouldn't be getting shot um, especially if you do a lot of overlapping fields of fire and because you can use attack ground like i did with this thumper you can just place it like i, I could put artillery like, right here and the enemy will try to go around it instead of going right through the pass so you can corral their movements this is extremely good on ambush convoys because you can just take two or three mechs with you know thumpers and just lay a big pattern of thumpers all around the convoy and the convoy sort of doesn't really know what to do and they get confused, and you can just really control their movement. This makes artillery much more of a dedicated, weird playstyle, where you kind of have to build around it, and it becomes a tactic rather than... It becomes a full playstyle and tactic rather than just buy a ballista, win the early game, which is what it is on on uh, our old patches, where you just bought a ballista super early, and the sniper was really, really powerful, and you just sort of won the game. Now, I already know that there are people watching this who will want the old artillery back. Good news. It isn't on the main tubes, but it is on the cannons. So we'll grab the Huron Warrior here. He should have range. Let me make sure he has range. Yeah. So, the sniper, the sniper, uh, thumper, and long tom cannons now have... Wait, hmm? does he not have... Oh, I see. I didn't do his ammos correctly. Um, so the sniper, thumper, and long tom cannons are now modal weapons. They have a direct fire mode and an indirect fire mode. In direct fire mode, they work pretty much exactly the way that they always have worked since their introduction. They are line of sight, direct fire weapons like big auto cannons. They have a couple ammo types. They have HE ammo, which just does damage and a little bit of AoE. A shape charge, which has no AoE and just a big amount of direct damage just like old artillery and they have inferno because sometimes you want to set stuff on fire however they also have an indirect fire mode so we'll move up the Huron. we'll switch to he so his indirect fire works like any indirect fire weapon it's not a particularly good indirect fire and they're not particularly good at it but they can do it if you switch to direct they no longer can hit it shape charge is a little less accurate because it's much more powerful so we'll just go with he Pop the shot off, and there it goes. It complete. Wow, that was a really good hit, too. We hit on 30%. Fantastic. Uh, so, you know, there you go. He got a lot of damage, and he completed the sequence, and, you know, everything was fine. The sniper cannons, the long time cannons, and the thumper cannons are pretty much old artillery weapons. They have much worse range. They are pretty hot. They're still heavy, and they still are primarily about direct fire because they're not very good at indirect fire. They take a penalty to do it, but they have the feet, they have the ability. So if you if you want the old artillery feature, congratulations, it's still available for you. The old ar the old artillery lives on in the cannons. You see here we have a long time cannon. So we're gonna go ahead and 
not shoot that. We'll go ahead and, I don't know. Let's indirect fire some stuff. We'll indirect fire it with HE right on top of this guy. Just to see that a a AoE damage. And there you go. He took a little bit of AoE. It's not a lot, because that's really not what the cannons are about. Now, the problem here that you that the, the canny among you might be realizing is that the cannons don't use the same ammo as the full pieces anymore. Because the full pieces uh, do so much damage, and they're, that has to come from the ammunition, because of how the kind of weapons behave, um, the cannons now have their own ammo. It is going to be in shops, it will be available for purchase in a variety of places, but they're using their own ammo, you're going to have to get their ammunition. I'm sorry, uh, this is just sort of how it has to be for these. Um, I know that there will be people who will be upset about that. I sympathize, especially because we just changed the Heavy Flamer fairly recently to also require ammo. I know this is a frustrating change, but this is the only way I could make this mechanic work. And if you might be saying, well, BD, why did you make this mechanic a thing? It's because this new artillery mechanic is a lot of fun to play with, and it creates a lot of interesting counterplay and a lot of more, a lot of interesting things that you can do. For instance, watch this. So, you'll notice here, my ambassador has a tag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over here. We're going to talk about tag in just a second here. We have to let the enemy take the turn, though. So, this is the slow part where we have to let the enemy do stuff. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do. I have to just let the enemy go. So, tag... We'll talk about tag while we're here. Tag, now, instead of giving you a generic accuracy bonus, Tag now provides a debuff to the enemy that makes them take more AoE damage. The idea being, the idea being that... Oh dear, what's this? Oh, hmm, that's fun. The idea being that AoE is what the primary... The tubes all do. The tubes only do AoE now, right? So Tag, on table and in fluff, is called target acquisition gear. It makes artillery better, that's all it really does. It makes it so you can sight in attacks with artillery much much better. And so Tag now in BTA will buff artillery by making artillery weapons much more powerful um, by dealing by making the target take much more AoE damage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the ambassador. We're gonna jump over here. I don't love being right here, but that's okay. Actually, I don't want to trigger the base because I don't want reinforcements. Can I go over here instead? Yeah. We'll go over here. So the Ambassador is particularly suited for this because it has the Will of the Star League, which is a mech taser. We're going to go ahead and attempt to shut down this fire starter. I'm going to turn off the small lasers. We're going to try to hit, hit it with the Will, shut it down. We're going to hit it with the tag. Alright, please fail your shutdown check. Damn, he passed the shutdown check. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, he's hit with the tag, so he'll take more AOE. I was hoping he would shut down so he'd be in the radius, but I don't think that's going to happen. Are you going to reserve? Ooh. Aha! That was a mistake. So, the Helopolis goes on six because I have a Master Tactician pilot in it. Now, you'll notice it's his turn. When I select him, he only has fire or brace. He can use the resolve abilities. Precise Strike doesn't do anything. Vigilance does work normally. So I'm just going to have him click fire. He can't change his target. He's just going to click fire. And you'll see, this guy has took a ton of AoE damage, even halfway out of the blast radius. This fire starter still took 50 damage, even at the edge of the radius. Which shows you just how powerful the, the AoE damage has become. The AoE damage is very, very powerful now. Because that's all they have, so I needed it to be strong. Uh, that's pretty much the artillery. That's pretty much how it works. All the tags, except for C3 Master, will be doing... C3 Master retains its old functionality. All the tags will be giving some amount of bonus AoE damage to tagged targets. Notably, that's not just from artillery weapons. That does apply to other AoE sources, like the HVAC. So, there you go. Nice side bonus. Uh, the main artillery weapons... All will behave this way. We'll reserve down just to get the the, Helo the other Helopolis so I can show off the damage to the base. So here we'll fire off the thumpers. Double thumper. Watch the base explode. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Very good damage. 
even with the reduction that buildings take, buildings take less AoE damage, and it still almost destroyed a good handful of buildings. What is that? Oh, it's a howitzer. Hm, cute. So that's your artillery weapons. The cannons are direct fire and indirect fire, as we showed earlier. I'll see if I can get a direct fire shot off. Can I see anything? Ah, yes, I can. I'll go ahead and just pop a direct fire shot over here. It won't really hit, but I'll try it. Let's see if I can get lucky with a shape charge shell. See if I can get lucky. 25%. Unlikely, but you never know. Yeah, we whiffed. But there you go. That's it. The other ammunitions for the tubes, by the way, include all the standard ammunitions that they've always had. So they all have HE, they all have shaped, and they all have and they have either Inferno or Fast Cam. Thumper has Fast Cam. It works fine. It, nothing changed about fast cam at all. It works just the way it always has. It's actually better now. I've made some changes to make it a little more useful. Uh, Inferno just makes a bigger area of fire. Didn't change. Shape charge on the tubes did change. Because they don't do direct hits anymore, shape charge doesn't just headcap people like it used to. Instead, what shape charge does is it is a massive stability damage. So it does hundreds of stability damage in a huge radius uh, around each uh, around in the in the weapon. So. If you want to just destabilize an entire group of people, take Shape Charge. That's what I could figure out to make it do. Um, I think it's actually pretty fun to play with. I know some people will be upset about that. I'm sorry. But there you go. For Arrow 4, you have Inferno, Fast Cam, Standard, and you have the Nuke. The Nuke is retained. And the Nuke is ridiculous. It's actually bigger than it used to be. and does even more damage and more heat. It does like a 1,000 heat, I think. And has a 1,500, 1500 damage... Or something like that. And it's ridiculous. It's completely bananas. The Cruise Missile 50 did get a buff. Uh, and the Sirocco, the Sanctuary Sirocco, now is much more about target saturation. And when it fires four small shells, each of which do a bunch of AoE. And so it really, you know, it really saturates targets with AoE damage. That's what it was meant to do. And that's the Artilleries. Now, I'm not going to play this out because... This isn't actually a really very good force to play this out alone. I kind of need... The artillery sort of needs support. But there you go. That's been that's been the artillery weapons. That's what I wanted to show you. If you have questions, please ask them down below. Uh, or find me on Discord. Come to streams. Come to my stream sometime. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Bloody Doves. I'm streaming with this pretty frequently. I've been streaming this for the last several weeks. Just so, you know... For actually a while now. Just to, so people can see it and I can test it. This has been pretty thoroughly tested. I believe this is going to be a really huge upgrade for gameplay. It also gives counterplay, so you don't get countershelled to death. Because you can just move. If the enemy has four artillery pieces targeting you, you can just walk away. You can try to dodge the artillery. You can position. You can try to find and destroy the units before they fire. There's a lot of really good things that you can do with, the, with this mechanic. And I think that it will be a very, very big upgrade for gameplay. So yeah, that's it. That's the mechanic. Uh, this is coming to BTA soon, so keep an eye out for it. It'll be in our next patch. And with that, I wish you guys all a good time. Everyone have a great time. I will see you next time. Peace out.